Well, good Thursday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you're ready to face the day. I'm going to read to you from Revival today for February the 2nd. This uh, is February the 2nd, 1900. The Power of Personal Testimony. Long time therefore abode they speaking boldly in the Lord, which gave testimony unto the word of his grace. And that's Acts 14.3. God commands us to let others know about what he has done in our lives. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. And that's Psalm 107.2. Have you shared your testimony of God's grace recently with anyone? Your life can be like an open letter and declaring God's salvation to others. You are an epistle written in our hearts, known and read of all men, for as much as ye are manifestly declared to the epistle of Christ ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God, not in tables of stone, but in the fleshly tables of the heart. And that's Second Corinthians 3, 2 and 3. A preacher by the name of Harry Monroe of the Pacific Garden Mission in Chicago decided to take four men who had been saved from lives of wicked sin to an evangelistic crusade in Grand Rapids, Michigan on this day in 1900. The men shared their testimonies of God's grace to the crowds of people. The four men were Charles Palmer, Tom Sullivan, Frank Williams, and the soon-to-be great evangelist Mel Trotter. Trotter's biography tells us from the beginning, God's hand was upon this young convert from Chicago. God prospered him and raised him up to be one of the greatest evangelists of his day and one of the best known and most loved mission men of the world. It all started with him merely sharing from his heart what God had done for him. A testimony can be a powerful tool to share the gospel. The Bible gives us many instances when the apostles shared their testimonies with those around them. From kings and politicians to the people of the street and in the marketplace, the apostles seized every opportunity to share what God had done in their lives. Simply letting those around us know what God has done in our lives, combined with a clear gospel presentation, can make the difference in someone's eternal destiny. Ask God to let you share your personal testimony with someone today. That's a scary thing for some people. Some people are scared to death to share a testimony or talk in front of people. And uh, sometimes uh, we get it mixed up that we have to be in front of a big crowd of people. And we do not. You may share it with your grandchild today. You may share it with, uh, with your son or your daughter be surprised how many people haven't maybe stood up in a church and testified and their very own adult children maybe don't even know of the time that God saved them. Don't know how it happened, don't know where it happened, don't know when it happened. Uh, we just heard a testimony from a lady at our church who had mentioned about her father. She knew her father had been saved before he died, but she didn't know exactly how. And she had learned recently through the testimony of someone else. So Share it today. Share it if you got it. And if you don't got it, get it, right? What a fellowship. What a joy to find leaning on the everlasting arm. What a blessedness. What a peace is mine leaning on the everlasting arm. all alarm leaning 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 on the everlasting arm oh how sweet to walk in this pilgrim way leaning on the everlasting arm oh how bright the path grows from day to day leaning on the everlasting And secure from all alarm Leaning, leaning, leaning On the everlasting
resting on. What have I to dread? What have I to fear? Leaning on the everlasting arm. I have blessed peace with my Lord so near. Leaning on the everlasting And secure from all along Leaning, leaning, leaning On the everlasting arm Once you have a testimony, uh, your testimony will always be that you lean on Him for all of your salvation and all of your help. Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us. I thank you for the opportunity to share on this story today and to share this gospel song. I pray that you would bless those who are in need today of sharing their personal testimony with someone out there, someone that you send to their way today. We love you. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, folks. See you Friday.